pretty quiet around here tonight. Not much going on at all. the quietest I've ever seen and it's just like a regular day here with a bunch of trucks parked around. It's really cold here today and uh, obviously all the people out of Quebec and Ontario that have to work Monday have been gone since probably two or three today so still have a couple Durham police wandering around. Imagine they'll be going home now that the crowd's gone. If they're not going home tomorrow, I guess I can ask them why. Sometimes no news is good news. That's, uh, that's the problem. Sometimes the news is boring. And uh, boring doesn't sell. So over the years, CBC and CTV and all the legacy media outlets slowly started creating their own news and narrative because hate and division sells and boring peace and love doesn't. How you doing today? Good, good. So yeah, I guess no news is good news sometimes. But uh, it is boring to watch. I guess if anybody has any questions or anything they want to see, we could do that now because there's really nothing else. I've already walked around everywhere trying to find something exciting to film and there's just nothing exciting. Hello from Kingston, hello from Ottawa. It's a beautiful night here, just really cold. New tent set up here. I haven't seen much for counter protesters, the odd old lady here and there. I'm not sure. Hey, Wendy. Hey, April. St. John's, New Brunswick. Nice place. Yeah, this is the biggest crowd I could find here, which is pretty, pretty small compared to every other day. I uh, we're two hours ahead of Drayton Valley, Kathy. So many. And there's a direct relationship between our willingness to sacrifice 
and the power of Holy Spirit hold over us. A people who have the joy to suffer, lost for a greater cause, the sign I haven't been paying too much attention to the Windsor border. I was sorry, but I was really tired and wore out today. It was negative 18 last night. The generator ran out of fuel at about 3 a.m., so I woke up pretty chilly. I had to start my truck and uh, haven't had a shower or got cleaned up in a few days, so I got a hotel. Closest one you could get was Arn Pryor, about an hour away. Who's talking? Uh, not, not sure. They have a different person on stage every other hour. Usually they're not that great, to be honest. There's like three or four guys that are good speakers that I stop and listen to. The rest of them are just rambling. Yeah, some some of the speeches are really good, but I think uh, I think they're just filling in fill, filling in gaps with the other guys. Quiet and cold, mostly the original group here. Couple parties, like there's corner street parties here and there with like. 20 people here, 30 people there, but nothing crazy that I've seen or found yet. Fifty officers against twenty peaceful protesters kicking and kneeing people? Where was that, Bryce? I wouldn't be worried about everybody. There's nobody here doing anything wrong. I'm worried about how corrupt the police are willing to go. That's about it. It's my only concern. What was the, what was the fifth mark? Bailey in the van looking thing. Not sure. How can we find a video of the USA side? Uh, Megan Gilchrist, can you get on that? I'm sure she's got a live feed of somebody over there. Or Ken Cook, he's in that area. I think he's got a few live feeds he's following as well. I think this is the street I needed to go down to find the truck, but we can keep walking down here for a little bit till the battery starts to die. Super Bowl, that's where everyone is. No doubt, it's freezing cold here. Swarming a pickup truck. And the truth is out and open, the world is watching. Yeah, the only aggressive people I've met are people that are unhappy or think that we're terror. I seen one sign calling people terrorists. It's like, <laughs> that's extreme. But I guess so is everything in Canada right now. Windsor footage was pathetic crimes against humanity. Yeah, pretty much anything that happens to any of these protesters is going to be crimes against humanity. Nobody's done anything wrong. And if there is one single person that gets drunken out of hand, 
Well, yeah, they're singly a problem. You cannot hold a million other people accountable for one person's actions. Like, the world is watching, it's wonderful. Yeah, exactly, Philip. There's no no such thing. Nobody came here with any mind of an insurrection or overthrowing a goddamn thing. They're fucking liars. A bunch of truck drivers and blue-collar workers came here to say enough is enough and we want our freedom back. Um, the word insurrection was never mentioned until Justin Trudeau started that fucking shit. He's, he is criminal, man. Like, our RCMP should be looking into that dude. And he's like, you know, pretty much the most influential person in Canada, and he can say whatever he wants on live TV. That's, uh, you know, pretty concerning. Bank Street. <coughs> Thanks, everybody, for all the support. I do appreciate it. Yeah, so I'm sorry I couldn't bring you guys anything live and exciting. I mean, that's the way the news actually is. A lot of the time, it's boring. Just a thought, maybe put on black clothes, helmets, BLM signs, there won't be an issue. Laugh out loud joke. Yeah, no doubt. No doubt. This is a different country, I suppose, than the USA. But, but nonetheless, I mean, that, that is a very good point. Like, some people have literally destroyed cities and burned down buildings and never went to jail, and they're, they're like, harassing me for doing live videos. It's, it's pretty wild, man. Oh, yeah, I got some good rest today, Mike. I got a hotel and a shower and stuff. It's felt good. Yeah, exactly, Philip. Exactly. Where's who's where's a coffee cup? I did not see a coffee cup, Megan, or I would have picked it up. You mean these fry bags? <sighs> yeah, we can pick that up. The garbage is full. City of Ottawa or your Intel police agents. Here's some Intel for you. The garbage cans are full. Empty them, please. All right, where are we at here? Queen, Connor, Bank. That's 50 O'Connor and 99 Bank. I think my truck is parked down here. I'm not positive. Helpful hint, leave a pin at your truck if you're not familiar with the city. It's really pain in the ass walking around for a half hour looking for your truck. But yeah, as you can see, like the streets are pretty, pretty bare. Um, for, for a Sunday, it's actually uh, kind of surprising. Last Sunday, there was more people here. Can we meet with a trucker somewhere asking why he's staying? Well, everybody, everybody knows why we're staying, but I, if I find somebody, it's just like, it's so quiet here. I don't feel so dehydrated and stuff anymore. I mean, I drink a ton of water and eat an extra meal tonight and get my brain functioning properly again. I'll be a little bit quicker with the interviews and questions and have better questions. I just was kind of starting to feel like a zombie. I didn't even know how many days I was here. And you know how it goes.
All right, so I walked by all this on the way in, so this is definitely on the right track. What street is this? O'Connor. So as I'm walking down O'Connor, my truck should be to my right down the road. Thanks, Mike. Doing the best I can, man. It is, it is frustrating. It feels like a lot of the time you're just sitting here doing nothing and then... But on the, when I was on my way home with the kids, I just... I couldn't help but thinking there's nowhere else I should be, nowhere else I'd rather be, and nothing more important I could be doing. So, you know, there's that. Oh, there's some people kicking around here. We'll take... Take this way over to the next street and then zigzag back around for the truck, I guess. Last night was super cold, so I'm assuming everybody is kind of in the same boat as me. They didn't get a great sleep or they had to idle half the night or whatever the case was. For sure it's going to remain peaceful. We didn't all leave and drive across the country to be idiots. We came here to prove a point and we've done it up until this point. I don't expect anything to change except for the cop's behavior and Trudeau's behavior. We have been consistent the whole time. That's why they're losing. That's why they're getting frustrated and trying all these scare task tactics. There's a... Uh, everybody here has been amazing. No problem for keeping you informed. Whistle stop team kicking around. Uh, yeah, they're usually parked on Kent. I haven't seen them in the last day or two. I'll make an effort to find them and say hi tomorrow. Well, Canadians are home watching the Super Bowl with thousands of people and not a mask on. Thank you for being there. That needs to be Canada. Well, you're right, it does need to be Canada. And it is Ottawa. Isn't it weird how we had like a couple million people here the last few weekends and there's no massive COVID outbreaks? Yeah, I thought that was weird too. What does Justin Trudeau call us, anti-vaxxers, even though 90% of us are vaccinated? So yeah, a bunch of anti-vaxxers with no masks on. Jesus, you think everybody would be dead laying in the streets? Uh, it looks like we're resupplying is mostly what I'm seeing tonight. Fuel, propane, pallets of water. Looks like everybody's getting resupplied. Yes, with unacceptable views. Like, unacceptable to who? Sorry, Trudeau, that we're not your puppets. Like... All right, we found uh, some people, some supplies. I don't think my truck's on this road. It might be on the next one back. Thank you. No problem, man. Thank you so much. Uh, 
I agree, it was never about a virus. It was always about control of people, just like the government's always been about. Never about a virus. It's only about a needle to Trudeau because he's so heavily invested in the nanotech particles. Uh, Vancouver-based company, I can't remember what they're called. Megan, Megan knows, tried to tried to invest in them, invested in Pfizer as well. I know it sounds evil, but I mean, fuck, if uh, people want the needle, they may as well make money off it, same as Justin Trudeau does. All right, we've located the truck. So we're going to head back down this way. I did see a couple veterans down here. I did want to get an interview for you guys, but he was talking to somebody, so I didn't want to bother him. I'm hoping he's done talking to whoever he was talking to and we can get a quick little interview or something off him and call her a day. Oh, sorry. Oh, yeah, okay. gotcha. Yeah, most people do say it's like a flu. I found it was like a flu too. I do have one friend that suffered pretty bad with it, but uh, he's a bigger fellow that always had problems breathing anyways. So it's, it seems to affect people with comorbidities where it's no different than the normal flu or anything, anything else. I mean, obviously if you have a problem and you get sick, your problem's gonna get a little bit worse. That's, uh, that's the life we've lived our whole life, so. I don't think that's any different with COVID or, or a heart problem or cancer or, you know, if you have, if you have issues, they're going to be amplified. Follow the money. Yeah, I've done that for years. Yeah, I've been hearing a lot of heart issues. I'm so really sorry to hear about your son. I have a few friends at work that can't really keep up anymore. We do a lot of hammering. It's fairly excessive and yeah, they're younger than me. I'm, I'm unfortunately a heavy smoker and you know, if, if I can if I can outdo a 22 year old that doesn't smoke, you know, there's pro probably something wrong. Love you too, Josh, man. You guys are awesome. Everybody supportive is awesome. Yeah, I have a hard time wearing the mask if I'm doing like physical activity as well. I, I don't like it one bit. I don't mind wearing it if an older person asks me to. That's like a respect thing. I have zero problem doing that. But I, I don't want to wear it all the time because the government told me to. That's bullshit. But if an older person wants me to wear it, I have zero problem throwing it on for 10 minutes. But I'm not wearing it for the rest of my life. I'm glad I'm here to watch history too. If I was only watching legacy media, I'd be disappointed in my fellow Canadians right now, but I am here and I am as proud as I've ever been. Yeah, it's no different than uh, Texas, Florida, or Mexico. And they've been living life like normal for the last two years. I don't know why it's not brought up more. You think everybody'd be dead in those states if this...
Live feeding? Yeah. I'm live feeding too. Hi. How you doing today? Good. Uh, sorry. Alex, Clinton. Hey, nice to, nice to meet you on? too. Uh, live on Facebook. Oh, right on. Yeah, they don't. They uh, they let me do the lives. I don't get out very far, but they let me do them at least. Nice. Nice. So, yeah. People like it. People see it. Yeah, yeah. People have been loving it. It's we call it the people's media. Yeah, we're the media. Yeah. We are the media. I know. It's the only way the truth gets out. Exactly. Not say. Thank you so much for being media. <laughs> The new world. Media. That's right. Independent journalism. From the people, by the people. Sometimes it's boring, but uh, we don't tell you bullshit. Sorry guys, trying not to worry about the fact I was waiting to talk to has been having a very long conversation with this girl. I don't just don't want to butt in or be rude or anything like that. Thank you for all your support no matter where you're at. But don't forget to get that flag on your car so that they can see no matter where you go. Support from your computer is easily hidden. Support with the flag on your car is not so easily hidden. Hey, you guys. Hold the line, guys. Thank you. hey how are you doing today, boss? Hey, buddy. Good. From the East Coast, I got a lot of East Coast viewers. Do you mind doing a super quick interview? Hey, hello. <laughs> yeah, awesome. So, my name is uh, Clinton Dooley. I was born... Oh, shit, what's going on here? I don't know how to work this properly. So, uh, yeah, my, my name is Clinton. I was actually born in Nova Scotia, so we have a lot of East Coast viewers, my parents, and uh, got a lot of family and stuff back there. And uh, I just wanted to thank you guys so very much for making the trek out here. And uh, I see it's Sunday, and you're not gone yet. Are you guys hanging out for a while, or...? Uh, uh, going to try. Yeah? <laughs> we appreciate that a lot. Is there anything you guys happen to need? I have a hotel in Earth. Are you guys got places to stay? Yeah, we're staying yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah, we're good. Copy we're good that. To go. Copy that. You guys been having a good time here? Oh, yeah. Yeah? It's nothing, it's nothing but love and peace here, man. It's beautiful, isn't it? Beautiful, nice? smiling beautiful. people, hugging people. It's, great. it's a boost, eh? Yeah, I, I've been feeling Very heartwarming. And proud Everybody to be Everybody out here is at home and don't know what they're doing or what's going on. Turn off the TV, turn off the mainstream media. Come here and see for yourself. That's the only way you're going to see that this is real and it's, and it's peaceful. There's nothing to be afraid of here. There's children playing. Every Everybody's happy. Yes. You won't want to leave. They were wondering your name. Do you mind saying your name? My name's Carl. Joe. Carl and Joe. One wonderful guys that truly understand freedom and they come here to support it for me, my kids, and everybody else watching. And I, I just want to truly hey, thank brother. you guys. You got. You guys mean uh, so much more to me than you know. Okay. You, you, can, you tell them to look for the, pit, the video of the, uh, the monument. I got it. I we're was all, there. We were all there. You betcha. I got it. I got you on there. <laughs> yeah, since I seen Cape Breton, I went right over to you. <laughs> yeah, goddamn in interesting to take care of. Yeah, crazy, eh? Uh, yeah. yeah, no, man. This is the nicest place I've been in a long time. It, it, Not wearing no face tape or done their face. Everybody's in close contact and they're not even talking about this stupid bio weapon that they call COVID. That exactly. just disappeared. It's all about being insurrectionists now and terrorists. They're calling Canadian military people terrorists. Is that not insane? These guys have served and protected freedom! us. Freedom! That's right, freedom! <laughs> to serve and protect. Come on, Canada. Get down here. See for I know you guys thought you were done, but. Thank you so much for coming back to protect Thanks, freedom. You guys have a great day. Thanks, guys. Thank you. All right, this thing's about to die, but I'll talk to you till it does. Uh, I think I need to go up one more street to find my truck. But it uh, feels like my fingers are about to fall off. 
sorry if I uh, didn't, I couldn't read the comments super quick while I was talking to them. It is uh, like negative 18 or something in bare hands. It's just, it's really difficult to hold things still and pay attention. Yeah, thank them for their services, right, man? They thought they were done. They, yeah. Uh, Man, they put their life on the line and they thought they were done. And they're sitting at home watching this unfold on TV and realizing we're not done serving our country. Those those old fellas made her here from the East Coast, man. That's, uh, yeah, I have a hard time talking about this stuff, guys. I am sorry. It just breaks me to see those vets have to come all the way from around the country to defend this country. Anyways... Yes, I took gloves. It's just insanely hard to hold the camera with the gloves on. I got them. Um, yeah, just holding the camera with the gloves on, holding things still, being able to flip the phone around and stuff. It's, I don't know. I'm, like I said, I've never done any of this stuff before. I didn't even know how to work Facebook Live. I had to get my daughter to show me on the first day. So I am doing my best. I'll get better at this as the days go on. And uh, after tonight, I get my brain working properly, get some more food and sleep. I'll be a little quicker on the questions and better on the interviewing. And maybe I'll even sit down and, and pre-write out a few questions. Yes, God bless our vets. I hope the younger generations can come come together too and and really get everybody's moral compass um, asphyxiated again because you know there is a lot of things we'll put up with as Canadians and uh, you know the the money never bothered us they they kept taking more at tax time they they ended income splitting um, they basically cost me 40 grand a year and I didn't even really care. I was like, oh, vote conservative instead of liberal. Um, but you know, when you take freedoms away, obviously uh, that's when people start to really care. When you start to use and abuse the system, that's when people start to really care. So yeah, they just pushed it too far with the legacy media and uh, using and abusing the people. But uh, yeah, they should have they should have ended it. They should have ended it before the mandates and just tried to make money off us. If they would have just tried to make money off us, we probably would have let them get away with it. Uh, but ruining our lives, masking our children, uh, separating people and pushing, pushing discrimination and separation and hatred so hard, uh, that's, that's obviously where they, where the people have drawn the line. And, uh, I don't think the people are ever gonna forget that. So, anyways guys, I finally found my truck and I am real cold. So, uh, if you have any quick questions, I